Welcome to the 11th session for the series Test Automation Framework for Web Applications built using Cypress and JavaScript. In the last session, we'll see, uh, we saw like how can we implement the taggings. Basically, we were able to add the tags like regression, sanity, smoke or high priority. So for example, if we had 100 test cases, so we were able to execute only 40 high priority test cases. Okay, so we see, we saw how the tagging was implemented. In this session, we'll see how can we manage the test data using something called fixtures. Okay, so let's get started. So let me jump on to the VS Code directly. So under the Cypress directory, you see there is something called fixtures. Okay, so this is the place like which where exactly we can create our fixtures. And this is the place from where we can actually manage our test data. So for example, we are automating the login flow, right? So maybe uh, let me just uh, give a name like credentials or JSON, login credentials or JSON and let me just delete this file. This is something which we don't require because it came as a predefined only, right? Okay, so what is the valid username which we are using basically? Username one maybe. Let me just delete it and go to the e2e source demo okay this was the username which you were using right so let me just put it here and what is the password for this basically a uh, password let me go to the login.js and this was the password right password and i can add one comment here basically like comment number one so these are the what credentials basically credentials and what are these a valid one okay like when likewise we can add invalid as well and much more so let me just copy this let me just go to the copy this one and yeah just close it okay now uh, ideally what should be happen like the data which the test data which i am using here inside the test case directly this should be coming from something called fixtures okay so now to read this data basically from there what i can do i can get this in some other variables so for example first of all i can go and load this particular file where exactly my file is basically okay so this file is actually present it is under you need to go to cypress then it is under fixtures and then the file name was login credentials dot json login credentials credentials okay login credentials dot json okay then inside that login credentials what was happening there was a parameter there was a key called valid username one so what i can do username one okay i can take this as a in one variable maybe i can name it as valid name username only let me just copy this go with the password 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 let me delete it okay so what we did basically we were actually looking out for the file where exactly our fixtures are present and then we were trying to fetch the values from this login credentials file the one the name is username one and the other key name is password one okay now let me use directly here so let me just comment it out and copy this instead of the hard coding part now this time I'm taking this from the variables. Okay. Copy this as well, comment it out, delete this, and there's something called valid password one. Okay. Now if I execute it, so it should uh, execute in a smoother way only. But if something goes wrong, then we'll see. Let me execute it on the okay. It started in the headless mode, electron. Okay, no issues. We'll be able to see at least this uh, the reports right and in the console as well we'll be able to see like how many test cases got passed and failed you see why we executed one test case and it got passed let me re-execute it in the edge browser so that we'll be able to see the ui yeah 
the edge browser is up and we are able to see yeah it was able to provide the particular information inside the username and password so we are successfully able to uh, take this values from the fixtures file okay so this is how it can be done this is how we can actually manage the test data using fixtures in cypress okay so in the next session we will implement the page object model design pattern currently if you see we are actually finding the particular elements like the text boxes username and password and buttons here inside the test case only that's not a best practice so basically we have to uh, make it modular and we'll be picking this data from something called page objects okay so that's all for this session thank you for your time have a good day